sunny day. I'm Deacon Paul Sowitz, and this is another in our series of Check-In Tuesdays. Before I begin today's topic, please allow me to say that I hope everyone is well and is dealing with the current situation as well as anybody can possibly deal with it. I would also like to thank Pastor Micah, Teresa, and Randy for the virtual services they have provided us with, and for Patty and Micah's sister-in-law, Ashley, for doing the behind-the-scenes logistical support. Scriptures such as Isaiah 10, uh, Isaiah 58, verse 10, Proverbs 31, verse 10, Matthew 25, verse 35, and Acts 2, verse 45, which Pastor Micah read this past Sunday, as well as others, tell believers to share, to care for the least of these, to feed the hungry. As Pastor Micah spoke about sharing so as to heal, to bring hope, and to participate in God's work this past Sunday. The faithful at Lafayette Avenue Presbyterian Church have long heeded these verses. We continue to respond to them today because the need is not only great, it continues to grow greater with each passing day. On April 14th, we learned of a posting on Parkside Lutheran Church's Facebook page about seven house households, 14 adults and six children, that called that day because they needed food. A cancer patient, two furloughed parents, an elderly neighbor. Eight days later, we learned that the Holy Spirit Food Pantry, can we start this over? No, okay. Eight days later, we learned that the Holy Spirit Food Pantry that Lafayette Avenue Presbyterian Church um, Community of Faith has supported for many years with a holiday collection had temporarily closed its doors because its food supply had been depleted. They are hoping to replenish their shelves and reopen sometime this month. Even though our doors are currently locked, we are trying to respond to these needs and scriptures call. We've placed this tote here on the steps where it will remain at least through the month of May. If you are able, you can leave a donation of non-perishable food anytime. A can of fruit, a can of vegetables, a can of soup, a jar of peanut butter, or something similar. The tote is checked almost daily. In addition, Karen and I will be here each of the next three Fridays, May 8th, 15th, and 22nd, from 5.30 to 7 p.m., to receive donations if you'd like to see a real person, socially distant, of course. During the first two weeks of this effort, we have been able to take 96 cans and boxes of food to the pantry at Parkside Lutheran. Our doors may be locked, but this shows that our hearts are open. One final item. I hope everyone watched last Tuesday's check-in with Jen. She offered many good suggestions and resources about how to maintain your health, your mental health, during this time. Pastor Micah followed this with his sermon on Sunday about soul guarding or soul caring. I would like to add one more point. It has been said that laughter is also good for the heart, the mind, and the soul. So if this brings a smile to your face or a bit of laughter to your heart, I'm willing for it to be forever known as my grandniece Aubrey refers to me as Uncle Goofy. Stay strong, stay well, stay positive, and may God bless each and every one of us. I just felt like it was going too fast, which is why I asked you to do it.